Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I have a tiny crock pot and I'm going to meal prep tons of freezer meals that are perfect for uh, one serving. All right, if you're new here, hi, I'm Claire and I love to cook and you'll find lots of the style of content here on this channel, so be sure to subscribe if you haven't already. Guys, I got my husband a tiny crock pot for Christmas. I will leave a link to this down below because is this not the cutest thing you've ever seen? Uh, whether you are someone like me who's a stay-at-home mom, I am often eating meals alone, so it's kind of nice to have them prepped. Or if you're someone who packs a lunch, you don't have to get this exact tiny crock pot. They make other small slow cookers as well. Um, but I thought, oh my goodness, he could just take this to work and that way I can really meal prep because they can all be frozen meals and he could just pop one in here in the morning and by lunchtime he has a wonderful home cooked slow cooker meal. So today I have come up with five different recipes. They are all freezer friendly and they are the perfect size for the baby crock pot. I will leave all of the recipes with the ingredient list and the measurements down below if you want to try recreating any of these on your own. All right, my first recipe is for these delicious savory pork chops. You're going to need pork chops. Um, onions, I'm doing one red and one yellow. I also have a nice bell pepper here. In the way of spices, we're just using salt and pepper today. I've also got some Worcestershire sauce as well as minced garlic, some chicken broth, and also some smoked paprika. All right, the first thing we're gonna do is prep our ingredients. I'm cutting up my whole bell pepper. One bell pepper made enough to do five of these pork chop recipes, so it worked out really well. I'm also going to cut up my onions. I just decided to do one of each because I thought it could use the extra color and a little bit of, of a more diverse oniony flavor. I'm also going to cube these up just because it'll cook faster that way and I wanna make sure it's done by lunchtime. And now my husband can just eat it right out of the crock pot instead of having to plate it and cut it up. So I'm putting a quarter of a cup of chicken broth in my freezer bags, throwing my meat in there, and now I am doing a quarter of a cup of the bell pepper and also a quarter of a cup of the onions and I'm just mixing the onions together. It's about 50-50 and it's kind of a heaping quarter of a cup, I'm not gonna lie. Now I'm going to add my minced garlic. We're gonna put a nice fat teaspoon in there. We love garlic in this house. I'm also gonna do the smoked paprika and we're going to do half a teaspoon. Next, I'm going to put just a little bit of Worcestershire sauce in there, a teaspoon. And then to finish off these bags, I'm just gonna grind a bit of my salt and pepper in here. You definitely don't have to do this. You could definitely season your food after it comes out of the crock pot, but I just thought that this would be a tasty way to make sure that's all done. And that's it. And now I'm going to make four more of them. All right, on to our next recipe. We have some delicious meatballs, and you're going to need soy sauce, brown sugar, honey, some minced garlic, ketchup, and Worcestershire sauce, and of course, a bag of your frozen meatballs of choice. Now, Gianni really wanted to eat these today, so I went ahead and decided to use my mini crock pot for the first time uh, and cook these for him, and I'm putting 10 meatballs in the baby crock pot. And this recipe is super easy to remember because it's one tablespoon of everything that we talked about. A tablespoon of soy sauce, a tablespoon of brown sugar, a tablespoon of garlic, a tablespoon of ketchup. There's also a tablespoon of Worcestershire sauce that I did put in there, but for some reason I did not film it. Um, but also a tablespoon of honey. Uh, so yeah, you, you don't have to uh, try that hard with this one. 
And that's it. This one took about three hours on high, which I think is amazing. Also, actually, there is no low option. There's just one option. It's it's always high. So uh, now I just made the rest very quickly and easily. And this whole bag of meatballs made six servings, which I think is a really good deal. I got the meatballs at Aldi, so you know I didn't pay very much. Um, and just a really easy to put together thing uh, that made a lot of nice, hearty, hot lunches. And just like that, we've added five more meals to our freezer stash. All right, it is time for recipe number three. We are doing some like taco cheesy chicken. I have opted for uh, breast tenderloins. I've got some broth as well as another bell pepper. We have an onion. We have an everything but the elote seasoning. If you don't have this from Trader Joe's, just use taco seasoning. It's totally fine. And I also have some Velveeta. Now I'm going to cut up my pepper again. And again, I'm making five servings. So now that I know that one bell pepper is roughly five servings of a quarter of a cup, um, it's easy to make in these meals. So I'm just dicing that up. And I'm also going to do the same with my onion. This onion was a lot larger. And I'm also cutting up my cheese into two ounce portions. Now ready to assemble, we have a quarter of a cup of that broth. I'm also putting in two teaspoons of that everything with the elote seasoning. And I'm just kind of mixing it up in there. And now I'm going to add my chicken. I've decided to put two chicken tenders uh, per bag. And of course I'm cutting it up again for the same reason I cut up the pork. And now to assemble, just adding one block of cheese, a quarter of a cup of peppers, and a quarter of a cup of onions. And Gianni can take this with uh, maybe like a tortilla, and he could make himself a burrito with it, or some tortilla chips, or over rice. This one's really versatile, and yeah, super delicious. And amazingly, our meals are really starting to stack up now, because here we have five more lunches. I do want to say that these are quart sized freezer bags and they are the perfect size for this. Next, I have just some classic uh, veggies and chicken. I've got chicken breast with carrots and celery, an onion, some tomato paste. We've got salt and pepper. We've got minced garlic. We've got chicken broth. And that seasoning I'm using is called 21 Seasoning Salute. This is from Trader Joe's. It just says like all the good seasonings in one. But trust me, you could use an Italian seasoning. You could use just some oregano. You know, anything kind of savory, rosemary, thyme, anything like that would be good. I'm going to clean up my carrots. I am using three carrots. And again, this is going to make five servings. So three carrots was the perfect amount. I am using two stalks of celery. And I'm just cutting those up to be nice little bite-sized pieces. And next I'm just cutting up my onion. Now to assemble, we've got a quarter of a cup of chicken broth again. And again, I'm going to cube up all of my chicken here. And for this one, I'm using the whole breast. This one was definitely, I think, the meatiest out of all of them. Now I'm going to add my tomato paste, one teaspoon. I'm also throwing a teaspoon of garlic in there, as well as just a few shakes of my seasoning and some ground black pepper and some ground salt. And now I'm doing a quarter a cup of each of the three uh, veggies in there. I'm shaking it up a bit and that's it. And easy as that, we've added five more meals to the pile. And now for our very last recipe, we have some delicious orange 
chicken wings. These are just frozen chicken wings, which I find to be very easy to work with. And I just had some left over in my freezer, so I decided to make them. I've got some chili sesame oil here. I love this stuff, but if you don't have chili sesame oil, you can use regular sesame oil. It's totally fine. I've also got some cornstarch. I have some orange marmalade. I've got some soy sauce here, as well as our garlic and some onion powder. This one, I actually had to do the sauce separately first, so this one was a little bit more time consuming than the others, but I only had enough wings to make two of these, so really it wasn't that big of a deal. I've got half a cup of my marmalade, one teaspoon of garlic, one teaspoon of our chili sesame oil, one tablespoon of soy sauce, one teaspoon of onion powder. Now I'm gonna whisk that all together. And then I'm going to add a teaspoon of cornstarch. Now when it comes to assembling this one, I am using frozen chicken, so I am not adding the chicken broth the way that I did with my fresh raw chicken. And that is because frozen chicken has a lot of liquid in it. So um, if you're using frozen chicken, you can omit that uh, broth, but if you are using fresh wings, uh, add a little broth in there to make sure that your, your chicken doesn't get all like crusty and weird in the crock pot. <laughs> Now Gianni has been testing these all week this week. This one took the longest in the crock pot because um, it had real bone in chicken. So this took about four hours in the crock pot, um, but the other recipes were done in about three hours. And this crock pot only has one setting, um, but I think it's pretty hot. So I think, you know, if you have a, a different crock pot um, or slow cooker in general, I think cooking on high for three hours will work out well. And a trick I like to do to store them is to push all the air out and flatten all the ingredients. That way I can stack them in my freezer and they'll be really easy to pack and they won't take up a whole ton of space. All right, you guys, there you have it. I made 23 single serving meals today. My husband and I can both use them, although I think it's probably gonna be a Gianni thing, uh, for lunches and for dinners. Um, there's a lot of creative pairings I can do with these things, like rice or tortilla chips and whatnot. Um, so I'm really pleased with how this all turned out. Uh, let me know down below, do you have a mini crock pot? Is this a thing that everybody has? Let me know. If you love yours, what's your favorite thing to put in it? Um, of course, come on back for more, and I'll see you guys in my next one. Bye!